a little tight of a space. Hey, what's up folks at home? We're gonna make a uh, drum set out of fruits and vegetables. Alright, so to get up and going, we're gonna need a few things. We'll need an Adafruit circuit playground, some alligator clips, a USB cable and a computer and some music software, and some fruits and vegetables like these tomatoes and potatoes. This is an orange. This is a potato. Uh, while we're at it, these are bananas. Add a fruit circuit playground is the perfect tool for makers. Come here. It's a little Arduino development board with built-in sensors, NeoPixels, and capacitive touch pins that we'll utilize today to turn our fruit into band members. A lot of kick drums and snares. Where's my hi-hat? Capacitive sensing's found everywhere now. It's actually what allows you to interact with your phone using your finger. Before you can understand capacitive sensing, we first need to discuss what a capacitor even is. A capacitor is simply two conductive plates separated by an insulator known as a dielectric. Dielectric. Dielectric! And it stores energy in the form of an electric field. <laughs> A capacitor is created on each of the circuit playground pads because two layers of copper are separated by non-conductive PCB material. When a finger comes in contact with the pad or anything semi-conductive that's hooked up to the alligator clips, like these fruits, it increases the capacitance by changing the dielectric constant of the surrounding air, thus creating additional capacitance in parallel. Watch this, I'm gonna use my tongue. The circuit playground can sense this changing capacitance and we can harness it with our code. The best part is we aren't limited to just using our finger or the touch pads. Other materials with the help of these alligator clips can also help us create de detectable changes in capacitance. Mm. De to create de detectable changes in capacitance. As always, Lady Ada provides a great extensive library so almost anybody can get this up and running. It's actually a great project for kids. Using an example sketch will convert capacitive touches into individual MIDI signals. There are other sketches that'll let you use it like a keyboard and mouse too. But, you know, just arrows and keyboard clicks. It is cool, you can play video games on the computer with your fruits. Oh, but nope, that is a, oh, that's a potato. What did I think it was, an apple? I don't even have any apples. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. So basically, digital signals to control our virtual instruments. I suggest experimenting with these numbers here so that we can play around with some other instruments. I'm using a higher-end software, but I listed a free one in the description that you can use along with this project. So go check it out. Getting sounds going is easy. Plug in your board, grab some alligator clips, attach each pad to a piece of fruit, cup of water, flower, cat, whatever. Upload the sketch and open your go-to music program like mine here. Ready, watch this. Set a good metronome, I'm gonna go with 120. Oh, I got something in my eye. Loop it up. And change instruments. Let's add some kick, some crazy kick. And now if we go in and change some of the numbers in our code to something a little different, we can play another instrument. Thanks for checking it out, folks. Uh, remember to tune in next week. Follow the project article on All About Circuits. Check it out. Look at the code. 